I want to talk a little bit about the first cause argument and um, some problems I think there are with it. So this is the um, argument um, as laid out normally by uh, William Link Craig. Premise 1. Everything that comes to exist has a cause. Premise 2. The universe came to exist. Premise 3. The universe has a cause. Premise 4. God is the only thing outside of the universe. Conclusion. God caused the universe. Now, God is unknowable. We end up without knowing how the universe was caused and just trusting that God did it. But since we have no conception of how, we are no more in the know than before. God can do things which are completely unnatural to us, which we have no problem with. But when we start talking about how the universe could otherwise have existed, we feel we should start talking in terms of present scientific knowledge, which of course leads to the idea of a cause. But if it's satisfactory to suppose that God could have done it, why is it not satisfactory to suppose that he didn't? Perhaps God wasn't bothered. Given that we don't know how God could create something from nothing anyway, we should admit that it may be possible that something just created itself from nothing while God drank a mojito and watched the show. In which case, we should say with a reformulated argument. Premise 1. According to the limits of our knowledge, everything that comes to exist has a cause. Premise 2. It's possible that things can come into being without a cause. Premise 3. The universe came to exist. Premise 4. The universe may or may not be caused. Premise 5. If the universe was caused, God caused it. If it wasn't, he didn't. Premise 6. The simplest explanation is better than the complex one. Premise 7. God is by definition the most complex explanation possible. Conclusion. The universe was not caused by God. And if the universe was not caused by God, then we would rather beg the question, why are we um, presupposing God at all? So you're probably going to be thinking that it's absolutely crazy to think that something can come into being without being caused. Um, because, you know, everything we have experience with is caused. However, it has to do with the limits of our knowledge. It's not inconceivable that before the universe existed as we know it, things just could come into existence. And the alternative is to resort to the most complex cause possible, which, since we have an alternative, is a leap of faith, and therefore not logical.